A lot of people are earning money by creating AI models for Instagram, Twitter and OnlyFans. So if you are new to this concept, it goes like this. You need to create an AI model using AI tools like Stable Diffusion. But creating an AI model, a consistent character using Stable Diffusion is a complex method. In this video, I am going to create a consistent character for an AI model using Leonardo.ai, which is comparatively easier. I used fine-tuned models to create this consistent character. Before I go any further into the video, I'll show you the results of this consistent character. So let's go to personal feed. And these are all the images that I got and all these images look pretty consistent. So I started from right here. This is the second or third batch of images. And this is one consistent character. This is the second one. So I generated four images and out of the four images, at least one will be a consistent character which will match with the previous batch of images as you can see right here. So this is an image which is matching. This is an image which is matching. This is an image which is matching. This is also an image which is matching. And I got some errors in the images but that can be corrected. To start creating the consistent character, click on training and datasets. Right here as you can see, I have trained a dataset using which I created all the consistent characters. After that, click on new dataset. Right here you need to give the name to your dataset. For example, Anna or any other character name. So that the model knows that the image is of a single character that has to be generated multiple times. And then give it a short description. And then you can click on create dataset. Once you reach this page, you need to upload all the images, at least 10 images of the character that you have chosen as a deep fake. So as I chose an adult film actress, I'm not going to disclose the name, but you can see the name right here actually. So I'll choose all these images and drag and drop the images in this section right here. As I told you, you need at least 10 images. If you have more images, like around 15 images, your result will be better. So you remember that you gave a name to your datasets, right? So you need to use the same name in the prompts when you are going to generate the character. Now I have 6 images right here, but you need to at least upload around 15 images. You can download all the images off of Google. And once you're done downloading and uploading all these images, you just need to click on train model and then just wait for the model to be trained. To check whether your dataset is generated or not, go to fine tune models. If your dataset is generated, it will display right here. So I have this dataset called Anna. Now to use this dataset and generate images, go to image AI generation. And then from these fine tune models, you can select your fine tune model, Anna. I'm going to use Alchemy to generate images. So I'll show you the original image from which I generated the characters. So take a close look at the images. So these are the images and this is the character. If you have not seen her before. And these are the images that were generated as you can see. They look exactly similar. I really like the precision and I'm happy with the results. As I told you, one or two out of the four images will be similar to the previous batch and the original image. So you need to keep experimenting and generating more and more images, change your prompt, play with the negative prompt and make sure to give the same name that you used for your fine-tuned model. So this is the original prompt that I wrote. If you want the negative prompt, this will be in the description down below, as well as this prompt. You can also remix different images with this model, which will give the face of this model to the images. Now let's change the prompt a bit. B big burst, attractive figure, big burst, sitting at home on a sofa. So instead of sitting at home on a sofa, 
I am going to write so standing leaning forward on a beach and let's click on generate and see what kind of an image does it come up with by mistake I left it on dynamic I usually go to photography so I'll generate the next batch using photography these are all the images that were generated as I told you out of the four images one image will be precise so this is the most precise image that I got and these are all not that precise but okay now let's try photography and click on generate I changed a couple of elements and now I will choose I will keep it to photography and click on generate I increase the prompt magic strength a bit so I generated all these images and out, out of all these images I got only one consistent character that is this one so you need to play around with the settings actually in the fine tune model I only gave 10 images that was my mistake so you need to give at least 10 images but if you can give more that will be better which will lead to more precise images and consistent images now let's try creating an image using creative and the prompt will remain same and I will increase the prompt magic strength this batch looks a bit more creative because I chose creative and I think this is a bit consistent not that consistent but it will do so out of all these images only two are consistent one is this the second is this yeah even this is consistent now let's change the prompt a bit portrait shot of a young model named Anna wearing a white swimsuit so instead of white swimsuit let's type black crop top so this time I've changed the clothes a bit and instead of standing on a beach let's write standing on a so I've written standing on a footpath of Japan in the street let's see what kind of an image does it come up with this time let's increase the prompt magic strength a bit and I'll keep the high resolution turned on these are all the images that have come up and all these images look pretty amazing so this is the most consistent image that I got even this is really nice so I like this image I can upload all this and this these two images as a consistent character so this image matches with this image as you can see and this image right here this image so as I told you you need to create images now let's turn off alchemy and then let's try clicking on generate as you can see the moment I turned alchemy all these images decreased in resolution as alchemy has a lot of options to increase the image resolution but you also get consistent characters with this as you can see these two are consistent characters now let's try increasing the prompt magic strength a bit and click on generate in order to generate similar characters so these are all the results that I got by turning off alchemy so you can consider using alchemy if you have alchemy because the images that I got using alchemy are equal to the quality of mid journey even better in some cases and they look really realistic so these are all the images that I generated using the fine tune model and all these images are pretty consistent and really accurate so some of these are generated using alchemy and the others are generated not using alchemy so you can try using alchemy it would be better if you have alchemy because the quality of images is much better using this alchemy feature as you can see these images were not generated using alchemy and their quality is a bit low these images now the next step is to upload some of these images that are similar to each other 
on Instagram, Twitter, and we can try creating a Tinder account using these all images. I've finally created the Instagram account, your own Anna. I've uploaded the profile image. Now I just need to upload a few other images that are similar to this profile image. I uploaded my first pic just 53 seconds ago, added some tags and I got two likes and two comments. So you know these accounts who say DM the images. So no one gets to know as you see. People think it's the real person who is uploading the images. So this was it for the video. If you liked the video then subscribe to the channel and I'll be back with some more AI related content in my next video.